Hi, welcome back. In this next tutorial in the series of Python coding, Python scripting, we'll extend the usage of integer field sliders and we'll add one more field group like text field where we can create a small window and rename the objects, whatever we can do. But that's what we'll be learning in this tutorial. So gradually you'll be preparing yourself so that you can write some more in-depth coding. Okay. We we'll start with you need to start import maya.cmds as mc that's by default you know come back to the next line i'll put window equals mc dot window you might be getting confused at what is this window you, you can call it anything i can call it ram okay you can call it anything because it, it need to have some sensible name that's why I just gave it as window but right now I leave it for RAM but see that you give some sensible names so mc dot window I'll give some spacing so that it looks clear the next thing I'll create a dummy name let's take I'll put renamer window and the main title is Renamer version. <laughs> it's all dummy. You can put anything. I just put something like this. And width, I'll go for 300 and height, some 300. That's done. The next line MC dot column layout adjustable is always true so that I can adjust it clearly and MC dot show window in bracket I'll put RAM because it had to show RAM if you want to use this this one also you can use it but the condition is that you need to put it in quotes so I'll run this command I got this window and I'll come back here this one more important part you need to always work on it. That's if mc dot window bracket ram access true colon mc dot delete ui which one you need to delete ram. So by default, if you change anything, if anything happens, it will clean up that old information, old window. And create a new window let's take I created this one if I change it to like 09 here if I run it I won't get any errors but I'll get the result now we got this thing here we need to launch Python command reference okay it's launched it now go back to Maya in Photoshop, I just created one small banner. It is called the image size is 300 into 100. That is, you know, the width is 300. So we'll use that one. I'll put some image equals, or else I'll put image path or logo path or something else. Here, you need to type mc dot internal var bracket upd. If you come here, check it out here. Internal var. Scroll down. UPD. This is a UPD user preference directory. So it will give us a user preference directory. So if I put it true, let's run it and check it out. What happens? This just this one line code. Okay, double click this one and run it. Say so it's giving that. The path is C, my documents, my 2000 preferences. But I copied, I saved this image in preferences icons. You need to save it in icons as a JPEG. Okay, I saved it as RK Markham. Okay, save. I saved it here. So it's going perfect. But the only condition is that it's going up to preferences. So you need to put, you need to concatenate, you need to add that icons. Slash 
the name of that file chipping now come back here I'll put MC dot image because it has to display what is the width it's 300 height 100 and images this one because we already assigned that to a variable boom we got this one okay that looks good neat and tidy now we'll try to create some separators separators means we will give some gap and things so mc dot s e p a r a t o r you can check it out i'll put height of like 20. run it you got a line here i'll put 10 10 is enough right now mc dot text it just displays the text let's say welcome to the tool renamer if you run this command control a and then plug it welcome to this then i'll copy this thing copy paste it the next thing is that we'll create a sliders do you remember integer sliders and all the stuff yes you should remember it but still i'll get back to it i'll say that uh, in this tutorial we'll be creating one small polygon cube we, are, we don't want to get you get so confused so that you have to think about a lot of other options we'll just create a basic cube where we have to think about width height and depth so i'll say uh, i'll put cube w that's q width is equals to you need to give some variable name that we can query it and all the stuff so mc dot int slider grp in slider group we did this in last tutorial so i hope you know it so once we're done we need to give the label name we'll say that width minimum value I want to take zero maximum value of 10 you can go anything all right now close it let's run it and check it out record this thing but can you see here it's not showing the value this thing I discussed last session you need to put field equals true let's run this thing now we can see the field okay now what I'll do I'll just copy this one next line next line I'll just change this to this to height this to depth and this one I'll change it to height depth control A run this command so we got width height and depth okay perfect now we'll create a button so mc dot button and the label is this is l this is not one okay <laughs> label l column quotes and uh, i'll put like create a cube come on now the thing is this command i'll just put command in quotes i'll put say my cube brackets colon complete but you must be thinking ram where is this my cube that's what we are going to create now i'll just come here out of the show window i'll put define i'll define this thing and put color and here we have given the value that all the information whatever is we are changing as a user it will be fed to cube w now here we'll query it i said uh, let's take uh, my cube with 
let's just to understand it's just to understand now I'll drag and select all this command and copy it here and we don't need all these things I'll just delete everything we just need that MC slider group so that we don't need to write into your slider here where is this is fine where this cube width it's trying to find it's from this variable so copy here paste it and what is it doing it's querying so q equals true and what it is querying value or you can put value as v also okay that's good now i'll copy all this thing okay i have to just copy like this i'll change this to height depth this one will be h and this one will be d so it has queried the height width and everything that's perfect now the next line mc dot poly q brackets here i'll copy this one put width equals this one height equals copy this one so that i can paste it here come on and depth equals the depth and I'll always create a name for it I'll say my cube I always follow my naming convention and say uh, final cube equals everything okay now this everything is perfect now select everything run this command okay now i'll increase some value like width height just two and depth and create boom it's created the cube and let's see the name it's my cube okay other thing is that I don't want the construction history I don't want to change anything here I'm happy with it so I don't want this one so I can just come back here comma if you come back to this one let's type poly Q construction history where is the construction history it's here if you click here it will take to the construction history that is CH and it's boolean so come back here ch false so i don't want any construction history so height let's create this one and i want it to be placed exactly on the ground so it should be height divided by two it's easy it's you can just can put like here mc dot move zero comma my height copy divided by 2.0 I told you this one also and zero comma and which object it is moving the final cube so copy it paste it it's up to you if you want absolute or relative I always want relative relative is based on the position so run this command let's say 777 it's on the ground right We'll run this command. It's locked. Okay, we'll see later. Was okay. 
got small issues. Now the next thing is that I want to create a renamer. If you run this thing, I got all those things. I'll copy a separator after this button. The next thing is that I want it to be renamed. To get renamer, we need to use a text field group, right? So we'll go back to let's take uh, cube name equals mc dot. If you come over here, text. Okay, text field if he if he f i e l e group. Can you see here? And the command is this one. So it has got width, height, and everything. It has got name. It's nearly the same thing. I'll come back here. I'll put mc dot in text. Always f i e l d g r p in brackets. Label is renamer right so we created something else and it should be editable you can't just put something we want it to be editable as true right if I run this command let's see what happens we got the renamer so you can use a name okay but we need to create a button which accepts this name so the difference between text field group and this one you can see it's a minimum maximum value and field true but whereas it's editable true you should be okay it's very clear now next i'll just copy this button command i'm a bit lazy so i'll just copy it and say my button uh, rename the cube and I say, see, uh, I'll put my cube renamer. Okay, now we need to copy all this code up to here, and we need to create a new definition column. Now we have to query it. So, what we need to query from the cube name. So, I'll drag and select all these things, copy paste it and it has to feed into the variable so I said final name equals mc dot text field group and I'll put from where you should find from cube name because that's where we have given the variable so copy it paste it and it's querying and if you check here we are giving the name it's querying and what is querying an integer variable it's value but when it comes to the text field group it's clear it's not the value it's the text so I put text as true and come down I'll just create some couple of lines I'll put mc dot we are, we are renaming so the the command is rename okay bracket and what is the rename which one is renaming my this name bracket okay that's it now control a copy this one let's take i'll create some object with create a cube now we have set my cube and i'll say uh, run Round meet this I'm just cube rename it can you see it now it renamed it okay you have to select that object you can, if you create some sphere also we select that object rename it it will name that one okay but overall 
overall you did understand how to use this check check uh, change some changes and all the stuff i'll just i'll go for image adjustments image size i'll change it to 400 okay now save as jpeg i'm rewriting on the same name so that i don't have to think about all the things so just run this command that's it right it's working now it's up to you what you want to do and all the stuff okay let's take i don't want to size it everything i can just come back here in the window i can put sizable false run this command you can't scale it you can see you can't scale it let's say i don't want minimize and maximize button also well put min is it min let's check it out <laughs> it's not minimum value it says window come back here it should be minimize button that is m x p and m n b that's small this mistake with it that's m and b false m x b false stuff. i'm recording so i've added loads of stuff on yeah. the future yeah. for the dissertations that's it Boy. so your code is right now working we got this cylinder you created a cube this is my cube we can change it to name ram and that's it so if you check the code i'll pause it for you for a couple of seconds so that you can check the code hope you enjoy this lesson and bye